In this video, we'll take a look at changing the language on a 3PCC phone via the web interface. And what we're going to first look at is going to be the information of the phone I'm using. And we'll see it. it's an 8845 3PCC phone. It's running 11.3.7 MPP firmware 284, which is SR1. This phone is not registered to any server, so it's not registered to WebEx calling or any other server. And then I want to use this as an example. If you notice, I've gone to the Cisco software download site. I'm going to the 8800 series MPP. And then under that section for the firmware, I have 11.3.7. One of the files offered is called Locale, the one at the bottom. I went ahead and I downloaded the file to a local PC. And once we unzip that locale file, it gives us all the different languages. And in this case, I'm going to focus on Spanish, but I'm just kind of showing the different languages that are offered, quite a lot of different options. And that's going to be the actual file name we're going to focus on. So again, this is downloaded to a folder on my desktop that's called TFTP. I'm going to be using TFTP D64 to point to the folder, as you can see, where it says current directory. So that's desktop, TFTP, and then the folder name. Okay. And now we're going to see on a phone, I'm logged in as admin. That's why it says user login, because I'm already admin. And then advanced. We're going to go under voice, regional, and then we're going to go towards the very bottom. Okay, and then I'm going to copy this string that tells the phone where it needs to pull the language files from. So this is my local PC. It's a TFTP 192.168.1.33. And then the language selection will be Spanish. And then the locale also selects Spanish. And if you notice the characters there match up to the actual locale file small es dash capital es okay we're going to submit the changes and we're going to take a look at the phone if you notice the phone has already changed the language on it it is applying the actual settings right now so it's going to probably take another 20 seconds or so while it's applying the settings and again this phone is not registered to any type of sip server it is now registered to WebEx calling. I'm showing this kind of as a as an ex, uh, generic example. If you have a situation where the call controller, the SIP server you're registering a phone to, does not have any functionality or provisioning of languages with the three PCC phones, how you can actually do the language change directly in the phone itself. Okay. And what we'll do is I'll kind of go to the phone's status information, kind of just so we can take a look at the menus that you can see this is actually has been changed to Spanish. Okay, so this is the information about the phone itself. We have the model number, and we also have the MAC address, serial number, software version, again, 11.3.7 MPP, and then the last three digits, 284, this is SR1. Okay, so the next thing we're going to take a look at is if we want to return a phone back to English. So how do we change it back to English? And we'll take a quick look at that. So I've changed locale equal to the EN-US. Now I'm going to change the language selection to US-English. And 
And then I'm going to bring up my notepad again here in a few moments. We're going to find the English file that we need for the language. Okay, we have a 8845, so this will be under the 88XX family of phones, locale files. Okay, and then I'm just going to copy and paste what I had before and make some slight modification for the English language. Another thing you could do is before you make any changes, go ahead and copy what the phone already has, which I probably should have done here, but that's fine. I'm just going to regenerate it. So basically, we're going to have English for that parameter. Then we're going to change this to EN, lowercase, dash, US. And then we're going to change this to the XML file for the English, English language. Okay, that should be good. And then we'll go ahead and copy this string over and we're going to paste it in the dictionary server script field on a phone. Okay, we're going to submit all changes. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at the phone itself. If you notice, it's already changed the language set to English, but again, it's applying the setting, so it'll probably take another 20 seconds or so. Um, as I was mentioning, I'm using this as an example because the phone is not registered to any type of call controller, aka SIP server. You may have situations where you're using this with a third-party call controller, which ha does have no special facility or functionality to provision languages directly in the server itself. So this is another method you can actually do the language change. And then we'll give it a few seconds for it to finish. So if you notice, welcome, enter activation code, and we'll do the same thing as we did before. We'll go ahead and hit the settings option, and then we'll kind of go back to the status product information, and we notice it's the 8845.3 PCC, 11.3.7 MPP, ends with a 284, means it's SR1. So let's do a quick comparison of the XML file itself. So if you notice, this is for the Spanish language, what the XML section under language looks like. Because another scenario might be if you're pushing this from a, or the phone is pulling this from a configuration server, depending on your situation. So this might be something else you can leverage, depending on your call controller, provisioning server, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So those are parameters I used for the Spanish language. And then we'll look at the config file for the Eng English language that I used. So this is going to be the dictionary server script string that I used for the English language. And then the language sel selection is English. And then the locale, EN-US. Hopefully this video has helped you on changing the language for the 3PCC phone. Thank you.